Hey, it's Lockie, and today I have a review of the Neversummer Proto Synthesis. It's one of the newer updates to the Proto group of boards, and this one replaces the older Proto Type 2. It's twin shaped, all mountain board that has a 6 out of 10 flex rating, a fast bass, and the Shockwave Rocker Camber profile. It's interesting to see the progression of the Proto over the last 10 years. The first Proto CT had the original Rocker Cam profile, as did the Proto HD. Then the Type 2 came with a more aggressive Ripsaw Rocker Camber, as well as adding an asymmetrical side cut. Now replacing the Type 2 is the Proto Synthesis, which has the Shockwave Rocker Camber and no asymmetrical side cut. If you look at it over the years, you'll see that the rocker section between your feet gets smaller, while the camber sections are getting larger and more pronounced. I'm a big fan of the regular or traditional camber, so for me each new version gets a little better. They also have a new model at the top of the line, the Proto FR, which has a triple camber profile, basically one step further, though I haven't read in that one yet. It's not really a surprise, almost every brand has more camber dominant boards each year, especially brands like Libtech and GNU, which used to have a majority of hybrid boards, now with tons of C3 regular camber options. So this version has quite long camber sections on your feet, with a smaller rocker section in the middle. Any board that has rocker between your feet instead of camber is going to have less pop, as the whole board is shaped away from the snow, so you need to flex it quite a bit, but you get less in return than regular camber. The longer and more pronounced camber sections will help a little bit, which is one of the differences I noticed comparing Shockwave to the original Rocker Camber profile. The big advantage, and one of the most noticeable things that I find on all Never Summer boards regardless of their profile is how they turn. I'm guessing that it's a combination of the profile and the side cut, but you'll get really solid edge hold in all conditions, even when you put in almost no effort. The flat section on the center of the side cut means that you can ride with a flat base on cat tracks and the board never seems to want to grab an edge, so you can really relax without feeling like there could be a surprise coming at any moment. All Never Summer boards have sintered bases, so they're all good to start with, though this has the better of the main two. I was riding this at Big White in BC, Canada with medium Solomon hologram bindings and size 9.5 Solomon launch bow boots. I was riding the 155cm protosynthesis with a fairly narrow stance and binding set at plus 9 and minus 6. I'm 6 foot tall and weigh 155 pounds or 70 kilos. With the rocker between your feet, you'll feel the board want to pivot or rock from the middle. So I found that you need to keep your weight properly centered, which you should be doing anyway, to stop the board from feeling loose or unpredictable and to get the best grip from the edges. Once I made sure that my weight was centered, riding fast is very easy. The board feels very comfortable at high speed, especially knowing that the edges are gonna grip right away if you need them to. The pop isn't great, but that's to be expected with any board with a hybrid profile like this. It doesn't take too much adjusting to get used to it, though all these take more work. It's rated as a 6 out of 10, though it feels a bit stiffer than that to me. I haven't ridden this in proper deep snow, but in the soft snow I could find, it did about as well as you would expect any twin board to. Another good thing with rocker between your feet is it means that leaning back just a slight amount wants to lift the whole front half of the board making it feel a bit easier to float through the snow. There's three versions of the Proto Synthesis. The regular width, the X models which are wide, and the DF or drag free which are super wide. Never someone's recommendation is that boots size 10 and under get a regular width, bigger than 10 get an X, or bigger than 12 get a drag free. All of them have a decent waist width anyway, so there's quite a bit of wiggle room if you are on the crossover sizes. Overall, it's a super solid board. The edge hold is amazing. It's very fun just to turn, especially on groomers. While hybrid boards might not be for everyone, it's worth it to try one out and go in with an open mind because there are a lot of big positives to a board like this. 
The build quality is really good and they're very strong, but the retail price is high. Although there are a couple of proto models that are above this, don't think this board isn't stiff enough or capable. Soon I'll also have a review of the softer and the much more playful proto slinger. Let me know if you have any questions about this board and search on snowboardrobot.com forward slash search if you're looking for any new gear this season. It will show if any shops have what you're looking for on sale.